Hey guys, this is Tyler with Tyler Dragon Tarot. Hopefully everyone's doing great. So, I'm going to be doing tours today. Thank you guys for watching, liking, subscribing, all that wonderful stuff. I appreciate the support so much. Um, so, let's see. Oh, um, and just so you guys know, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I do, um, every now and then, if I just don't, if I want to try to get it done quick, um, I will do the videos in an all signs video, uh, instead of doing, um, each sign individually, but in one video, but those sign. I uh, I tag the videos with timestamps and all that. Um, all the signs are in them. Um, I don't know if you guys are checking those out or not, but every now and then, if you're, I'll do that instead of putting out 12 videos. Um, I'll just make one 40, 50 minute long video um, if I just don't have the energy that week or if I want to try to do a second video in a week. Um, okay, because like I get a lot of views on the singles, so I don't know if people know that I'm putting those out. Uh, I don't get as many views on those, so I thought I'd put that out there. So now that I'm done with my little pep rally or whatever, uh, let's get to my Taurus reading. Mm -hmm. I feel like this wanted to come off, so we're going to give that to you. That one wanted to, yeah, let's, fuck it, let's do them all. All these that wanted to pop out right here. Okay, so you got the nine of wands, you got the six of cups, you got the seven of cups, you got the uh, ace of cups, you got the... Knight of Swords, you got the Three of Wands, you got the Will of Fortune, you got the Ace of Coins, you got the Four of Wands, you got Death, and you got the Magician. So pretty much, how do I want to read this? For some reason I feel like reading like a stack, so I'm gonna read the bottom. So looks like you manifested a new beginning, a transformation. Um just saying it looks like something you really liked, you thought you really loved, you held dearly, now it burns you and you're just trying to get away from it. So that's what you're putting to an end here. Um, and you're coming out of that cave because it's like, it's almost like um, that's all you knew. You were in the dark and you're like, oh, there's this whole other world of things. Like, it's almost like you've been eating grilled cheeses your whole life and you're like, man, these things are bomb. And then you go get a steak or something. Sorry for anyone who don't like me, but you know what I'm saying here? Um like, just that difference in quality is just, like, man. All right, so, you got the Wheel of Fortune, though, so moving forward, uh, good things are going to happen if you keep this momentum going that you got going. Um, just don't let the um, shitty-ass energy burn you. Keep moving forward. Keep flying. Um, Nine of Swords, you're going to get clarity here. You, uh, you're going to be happier. You got to move forward. Uh, just make sure you know what to swing that sword at. All right. And uh, because your sword can be very powerful. Your words can just, you're like a bull on a china shop. No, I guess pun was attended a little bit there, but, um, it's like your words can just break someone fragile. So be careful what you say. But I feel like the clarity here is about someone fragile in your being, in your existence, in your area. Um, I don't know why I'm saying this weird, but um, Ace of Cups here. So 
I know I wanted to read it up, but it's like, it's almost like you got to move on. You got to have a little victory. You don't have to struggle a little bit to figure out what you really want. And then you're going to get blessed with this cup that's like, I don't need the other cups. This is, this is the one I want. Um, you got the nine of swords moving up, moving along. So what is, I felt like drawing from this deck too. So let me draw from this deck. Um, so let's see what, I'm going to go ahead and just pick these cards up because I'm not really going to clarify a card. Uh, the general gist is that you're moving on to better things. So let's see. What what exactly are you moving on to? Or what were you moving away from? Let's start with that. What were you moving away from? What were you moving away from? Okay, this one pop out. Okay, see, there's you with your sword down and all that. This is the side that popped up. It's a dual perspective deck. Um, vice versa. That's what it's called. So it's like, no matter what you're moving away from, is like, no matter how calm you were, there was always a storm. Like, and you're trying to move away from that. You're trying to move away from those toxic people who are just always causing a storm in your life. Who are just... Nothing... <laughs> Nothing good, just always lightning striking, and you're narrowly missing, but yeah, you got to get out before you get set on fire, <laughs> before that lightning actually hits your tire tower and hits you. Funny that another lightning card pops out, and it's like you know that intuitively, so you're moving, you're starting to move away from this, um, because the tower moment is going to happen. You can be in the tower when it strikes. Or you can be moving away from it already. Um, so let's see. And that's up to you. So what are you moving towards? What are you moving towards? Towards? Let's see. You know, I'm not going to draw a card on this because I just, I keep hearing new beginning in my head. It's almost like the fool wanting to pop out. So you're moving towards something that's going to make you happy, something that's going to make you more balanced, um, and you just want a new beginning because because all the shit you had to deal with in the past is just ridiculous, and you need a new beginning. And it's time for that new beginning, isn't it? All right, so hell, enjoy your new beginning, Taurus, because I feel like nothing's going to get in your way of that new beginning. So charge forward. Uh, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.